Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to my April book haul. So I bought three books this month, which is not a lot. For me, three books is quite a decent number because I can't spend like 50 euros every single month to buy like, I don't know, six books each month. That is not possible for me. Well, I could do it, but... I'm not doing it. So the first book that I got is a children's classic novel and I suddenly was super interested in it and I was like I really need to read this. I've seen the movie of course. Uh, I don't know when the last time was that I saw it, like probably a couple of years ago, but I've watched uh, Once Upon a Time in Wonderland and I absolutely love everything that has to do with Alice in Wonderland. So I got Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and in this beautiful 150 year celebration edition and this is the Macmillan edition. It is beautiful. As you can see the little hearts on the tree, they shine when there is light on it. I think that this is going to be a really fun read, also a strange read. So there are a lot of illustrations in this book as well and they are from the original illustrator. It is under 200 pages so it also should be a very quick read and I just love this edition. Like I can't just stop staring at the cover and at the hearts and it's just such a fun and cute edition. So I say buy this edition because it is beautiful on your shelf. Then I bought another children's classic. I just saw these two editions and they were very cheap. They were under seven euros per book. This edition is even more beautiful than the Alice in Wonderland that I just showed you guys. Like this one is oh so stunning and it is the Puffin Chalk edition of Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. So I have watched the Peter Pan movie maybe once in my life and that was when I was like eight or something. It has been such a long time since I watched the movie so I can't really remember anything. I absolutely love this cover. It is so beautiful. The font is amazing and then you have like all these beautiful drawings that are like made with chalk and by the way the inside is so blue and as you guys know as you guys can see from the background and everything i love blue blue is my favorite color and this color makes me so happy even though it's on the inside and even though i won't see it that much but i'm also super excited to read this story again it's a children's classic so i feel like i should read it and it is just a little bit over 200 pages so again should be a very quick read and the last book that i got and that i'm actually the most excited for is the Arab and the Dawn by Renee Adje, I think is how you pronounce her name. Look at how stunning this book is. It is so beautiful. If you would have told me one year ago that I would buy this book, I would have said, yeah, right. Because last year when this was super popular and everyone was talking about it on booktube, I was like, I'm not gonna read it. Everyone says that the cover is beautiful and I don't think it's that special. The story, it sounds good, but I'm not like super interested. It's probably the hype that makes it look so good and the story probably isn't that good. But then I saw it on Amazon and um, this was like 16 euros if you would have bought it like a new edition but then I saw like the used editions and they had one from the Amazon warehouse deals and this was 12 euros so that was like four euros cheaper and it's a freaking hardcover so I was like 12 euros for a hardcover is super duper cheap and lately I've been very interested in this story um in contrast to what I thought last year the cover is stunning like how did I think that this was not beautiful like it is so beautiful and as you can see there's like a girl in here when you open the book you see the girl and also if you just you know look at the naked hardcover book it is so stunning it is like a dark purple and then the spine is like gold and i absolutely cannot wait to start this one and then afterwards buy the rose and the dagger which looks even more beautiful because it is blue. So those were the three books that I got this month in April. So you guys can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Goodreads. Those links to my social media pages are in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this tiny video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and book hauls and wrap ups and all those kinds of things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.